Another one of the modified tools is the mirror tool. For this exercise we're going to use the basic HVAC project located in your common folder. Click on the modify tab and in the middle of the modify panel you'll see that we have two options for creating a mirror. Mirror which is pick an axis or mirror which is draw an axis. We'll do both examples to see how they work. Select mirror pick an axis. Revit now asks us to select the elements. With the elements selected, press enter. And now we need to select the axis of reflection. We could select one of these wall faces. Also notice from the options bar that we have the option, which is the default, to make a copy. Click on the wall face and the elements are copied. We just need to move them now to the centre of the room. Let's try that again with the draw option. So we'll select the tool, select the elements, press enter, and now rather than picking, we can draw two points. What we really need to be aware of here, however, is that while Revit will mirror these elements, some elements are not meant to be mirrored. Take the mechanical equipment, for example. If this was a manufacturer's piece of equipment rather than a design module, and the manufacturer didn't allow for handed objects, mirroring this mechanical equipment will produce something that doesn't quite exist in real life. We would then have to mirror this part of the assembly back to its original orientation. We can do this by unchecking the copy option in the options bar and selecting, say, the center of the duct. 